All right, Richard here. Hey, uh, this is kind of a continuation of a video that I was working on for someone who was having intermittent uh, problems with their electric bike. Um, so let me let me explain what this rider was experiencing. She would have uh, periods of time where everything would be working great, and then all of a sudden she would lose throttle and uh, pedal assist, and then a while later, it might come back on. She might turn the bike off and turn it back on, and all of a sudden, it would start working. Now, in the meantime, the dash was all working fine, but it just no power. So we kind of figured, she had a theory, and I think it was a good theory, and so I went down that road, and that was that the switch in the brake handle was sticking and keeping the power shut down to the motor. So let me show you what this looks like inside. The, there's a small switch in both of your brake handles, and uh, this is a, a little momentary contact switch. So right now, this switch is, is open. And when the brake lever is pulled, then that closes the circuit, and that is hooked to the controller so that it shuts off power to the motor. So this is so when you're slowing down at an intersection or something, if you accidentally still have the throttle on, if you pull on that brake handle, this switch uh, closes and it shuts down the controller. You take your hand off the brake handle and it should pop back open. So here's the actual innards inside. And you're gonna hear in the background here a little beep. And that is my continuity tester, uh, volt -ohm meter back behind me. So when the brake goes on, you can kind of hear it beeping back there. So. This, this little switch is what does all that um, that's underneath that cover in there. So you stick that in there, cover goes over the top, there's some screws that hold it in place. And so you can see what could happen. And what I've duplicated happening here is if the brake handle doesn't fully come back, so now right there, it's almost back. If I let go of it, ooh, ooh it's still on at least for a second, and then it goes ahead and closes. So during that delay, you take your hand off the handle, during that delay, you're dead in the water. You got no motor power from throttle, and you got no motor power from pedal assist. And so that could be a possible explanation for these intermittent brake problems. Now, theoretically, your spring in your caliper, pulling on your brake cable, should be adding to the uh, effectiveness of this spring that's in the handle to where it pulls this closed. But if something was going on in that brake cable, either a kink or the cable was beginning to fray or the outside five millimeter housing had gotten bent, any of those things could affect the effectiveness of that cable and you might not get enough pull back to get this thing to close up. So therein lies the potential. So you can see right there, it's almost closed, but not quite. So when I'm playing with this handle, about one time out of 10, it does that, where the brakes, the, the uh, switch is closed, and so it's, the circuit is going to uh, turn off the, con the controller, and no power is gonna go to the motor. So just give you a heads up. Put some lubrication in your brake handle, maybe a little silicone spray to help loosen things up in here, both in the handle and in the plunger of the, of the uh, switch. So that would, be, that would be for starters to try that. And if that doesn't get it, I would start looking down your brake cables and see if there could be another explanation. Now on 2.0 brake cables, we've seen some binding on those. And so replacing those with a wound housing, uh, a, a coil type wound housing is gonna make an improvement in your brakes no matter what. So there's some tips for you. Thanks a lot. Subscribe to our channel. We're trying to give you content that is highly technical. And so hopefully that will be helpful to you. Uh, I am a, a longtime bike mechanic and a bicycle shop owner and a bike racer, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, go ahead and subscribe, like this video. Thank you very much.